Hello, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny. Thought I'd make a video. It's been a couple of days. It's a Monday here in West Michigan. I got my clock. It's 7.56 in the evening here. It is May the 17th. It's a Monday. So, <coughs> yeah, I'm just going to talk about what I've been reading on a Monday. I don't know if I can remember exactly what I read yesterday. I got my diary here. I ended on page in my 2021 diary. I'm on page 560. As I told you, I, I've been writing more in my two folders. You know, I use two folders a month and I realize I'm writing a lot more. So what I did today, I was out I went out to do some errands this morning and I stopped at Staples Office Supply and got myself some more composition notebooks and so I write in here when I just because I feel like writing but it's so this is on 5 17 2021 so so I probably wrote around 10 pages today and yeah, today is the 17th, tomorrow is the 18th, on the 19th of May, we celebrate 42 years of being married. I'm wearing my New Mexico hat. I usually don't wear it, but I figured, hey, it stops my bald head from being shining under the light. So what have I been reading today? Oh yeah, I, I went on errands today. I had to get some plastic bins. I put some books in the plastic bins down here in the lower level. You can see now the lower level is all vacant. That's where the new bookcases are going to take place. Today we text the guy who's building them. He said the 1st of June these four bookcases should be here in this area right here. So I got rid of the history books yesterday and today I hauled them away. To the Gateway Rescue Mission to be sold to support the poor of the earth, the downtrodden, the the lost, the those who have strayed from the way. <laughs> so, uh, what have I been reading? What did it? So, I was out and I stopped at Goodwill North, and I found. Now, I only, I told you, when I am never going to just buy anything anymore. Whatever I buy is very, very selective. And I found this American History book by Edmund S. Morgan. And I have his book, uh, Biography of Benjamin Franklin. And I have his book on something else down somewhere I think I have at least I have I did have his book the stamped act crisis prologue and revolution but I dehauled it I don't have it I do have his book the Puritan family religion domestic relations in 17th century New England I have that book still uh, I might have the visible saints the history of a Puritan idea too so I picked this up at Goodwill. Now it goes along with my Edmund S. Morgan collection, a very prominent American historian. And then I picked up this little paperback, The Merchant Bankers, a fascinating cat, candid chronicle of the great financial families of the world by Joseph Rechenberg. And it's by these families in the bag. I, you know, I'm kind of interested in world finance, banking, money, economics. So it was only like, you know, I think, I think 50 cents. <laughs> and then I picked up this book. I can't pronounce it. It's, I think it's a Bosnian writer. Let me see, it says back here. Mal, I can't pronounce his name. This is the title in red and the author is up there in white. Can't pronounce it, but he was born in Serbia 
1966. Poet, novelist, journalist. He wrote for some newspaper in Sylvania. Uh, his works have published throughout Europe. He has written several novels. And uh, so I picked this up, and this is by Archipelago Books, which I really highly recommend. Anything they do translations of writers from all over the world. I, I've been reading today, as far as my Monday reads, and I've been reading this. I've shown this in past videos. These are stories by Joseph, Joseph Plath, Life in, Binner, in Bitters, and it's translated from the Cal, Calian, Cadal, was it Cal, Caldillian, Caldillian by Peter Bush, the Catalonian. So I've been rereading that. I've read almost half of it. So I, that's what I read today. And oh yeah, I also read. I have been reading a book I got in the mail a couple of days ago, Essayism on Form, Feeling, and Nonfiction by Brian Dillon. So I got to, I've been reading this. And I also, my wife was in Grand Rapids. She had to do an errand. Oh, she took those Encyclopedias Britannica to a homeschooling place in Jenison. And then she decided to go into Grand Rapids, which is right next up in her were nearby and she went to uh, Reformation Heritage Books to get some books to look at to see if they could be used in a women's Bible study but w when she was there she called me up and said do you want anything while well, she's at Reformation, Reformation Heritage Books and I know they had a book that was on they're having a moving away a moving a, a moving sale. They're moving out of their, They're moving into a new location. They bought a bigger place, and I said, "There is a book I want. It's on sale, and it was this book, Collected Sermons of James Dur Durham. This is volume one. I already have volume two. Uh, it's not really. There's no." Uh, There's no volume one in it, but this is what this is. It's a, uh, I bought uh, years ago. I I bought the uh, the sermon, the collected sermons of James Durham, 60, 60, 72 sermons on Isaiah 53. That was in 2017. I had that, and this just can't. This uh, wait a minute, not 2007. They reprinted it in 2017. Reformation Christian uh, Reformation Heritage Books. My Natalie edition. I mean, hold on, I'll go get it. This is the Natalie. See, this is my edition. Christ Crucified, 72 sermons, Isaiah 53, 17th century Presbyterians. My edition was published in 2001. <laughs> and Reformation Heritage has published the other collected sermons. So I got that. That's a carol. So I, I read some of the first sermon, which is the blessedness of the death of those that die in the Lord. And the text was from Revelations. Uh, let me see. Revelations. 14 verse 13 and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord From henceforth yea saith the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them So I read some of that other night I've read this many times over the years I used to read it every time around resurrection Sunday Good Friday the Passion Week used to read this all the time when I was going to church. So that's about it as far as what I've been reading. Like I said, all the books have been de-hauled that we're waiting for the bookcases, whatever. Then 
the final purging will take place. When I get the bookcases, I'll put everything that I want, that really I really want to be displayed in front of my eyeballs, and everything else will just have to uh, go or be put in plastic bins. So, but I have, I'm, I'm pretty much got down to what, uh, I, I'll show you the history books section here. I'll just go over here, see? See, here's the bookcase of the history books that was over there. Now that's been lowered. So now, the, that's all American history down there. And this is all world history over there. And those are all novels and different things. See, and now there's a big, huge space there for the bookcases. and So, everything else is kind of normal back here. So, so yeah, things are getting there. Eventually, I will have all the bookcases and I will make the final purge of what to keep and what to get rid of. It, been very painful, very disruptive. And when you're a book lover, you hate to get rid of your books because they're the closest thing to you have friends in this fallen world. But hey, I was able to keep some from the dump. So I hope you're having a good, that you have a good reading week. I hope you had a good weekend. And yeah, I have a book coming in the mail tomorrow, a Thomas Mann book. And I have some other books coming into this month and in June. And so, once again, thank you for your comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. And until next time.